I wish to uh, I wish to open with you the book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fourteen. Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. It's a more or less like a continuation of what we had been uh, contemplating last night, as a peculiar people, for God, here God plays a requirement. If my people, who are called by my name, last night we studied that he has given a very special name to be his children. And we need to do something very important. Number one is humbling ourselves before God. As the brother was giving in his uh, opening address, we need to ask for the spirit of the Lord and help God to have a humble spirit. And then we should pray and seek his face. And without which, with our human ability, eloquency, our so-called added quality or qualification, or our merits, this does not take us anywhere. As it was told uh, in the morning, the highest that we can come is up to the foot of the cross only. No matter how great a man is qualified, a real genuine humble spirit and stoop down to the foot of the cross. Then higher we can climb with the power of Christ and he lift us up as a people. My people who are called by my name is that holy people, peculiar people. That will be his addressing and we have no merit on our own. And then we sort to seek his face. By beholding, we will be changed from one glory to another glory. And we should pray for his grace every moment of our life. That he says that my grace is sufficient for you. In this session, and these three things let us take. To humble ourselves. To earnestly pray and seek his face. And then we will have the guidance of the Holy Spirit in every moment. So as uh, the brother made an appeal, if you can have one moment of a complete surrender and total converted experience, our business can be finished even in one week. Two weeks may be too much. And the question may be arising, the brother secretary put a long list of doctrinal points. Apparently, it would take a longer time. But uh, we would appeal to you, brethren, and also we will seek his grace that we can understand his will. And then we might be able to understand his doctrine. And we would be able to come to the conclusion of the entire business as soon as possible uh, to come and not to waste the Lord's time. So my appeal to you, brethren, with the words of the Lord, I repeat again, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We can apply this one even for today, even though at that time in a special amen of uh, dedication of the temple, but it could be like we can dedicate 
our soul tumble today and we can ask God uh, and seek his face, we can have a wonderful experience. And may also our, be our prayer, like the prayer of John the Baptist. He must increase and I must decrease. This should be our prayer. That should be our motive. And Christ should be the center of our action and our activities during this service.